Arapandaran, born and raised on the mysterious Wandering Isle. While many of your fellow Pandaren prefer a tranquil life, the lure of adventure burns in your blood. Recently, the Wandering Isle has begun erratically weaving about the world's oceans. The air grows cold, and your island home is spiraling toward disaster. As one of the most promising of students at Master Shang's monastery, you may just be the salvation for your people. But first, you must complete your training. All right, here we are. In the game, Master Shang Z. It is Z or Chi. To see you, my student. The lesson of the Iron Bow. First, you will need a weapon suited to your talents. Retrieve a pair of fist weapons from one of the weapon racks below. Bring them to me and show me that you know how to equip them properly. Okay. Accepty. Let's go. So what have I got here? I've got Tiger Palm. Attack with the palm of your hand, dealing 14 damage. And we've got Strike the Tiger with lightning speed, incapacitating them for 4 seconds. And turns off your attack. That's a... Bit of a stun there. Got Chi, used by monks to power specific abilities. And this is our energy, I guess. Alright. Okay, did we. Did we equip? No. Alright, we got him. Let's go back. A fine weapon. It should suit your needs well. Now, let's put it to use. I'd like to observe you putting your new weapon to use, my young student. This will aid me in determining where, what degree of training will be best suited to your talents. We have many training targets in the training grounds below. Practice your attacks upon them, and return to me once you're comfort feeling comfortable with your new weapon. Okay. Destroy five of them. Can do. Here we go. Smash it. Smash it. That's one. Oh, that's the... Okay, so that's... It's a two-minute cooldown as well. right? -o. Something to use in case of emergency. So we're building up the chi, I guess. No, cheese used by something different. Cost no chi, okay. So we'll probably get a we'll probably get a couple abilities that will cost chi and then deplete these little balls. One more to be destroyed. Come on. Give it to it. Give it to it. One. And a two. There we go. Go back and hand in. We've got other monks here in the training. Now I wonder if you, if I just, I wonder if this is like, yeah, it must be the same for everybody. Forget injuries, never forget kindnesses. The lesson of the sandy fist. Not bad game, Olio Dan. You may indeed have chosen the proper path. Good. Let us continue. Facing a living opponent is a very different thing from the stationary targets. In the yard, living opponents strike back. There is this, there is the very real fear of failure and sometimes even death. You must have the courage to overcome those fears. Challenge the other trainees within the temple or down the steps below and defeat them. Can do. Uh, we'll pop that on. Ah, oh, hang on a second. Oh, you can't do that while in combat. I'm not in combat. What, 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 what combat? Slow down. Hello. All right, let's tr let's uh. Speak up. Sparring. No, I can't do it to you. Patience, patience. Oh, I must still be in combat with this. 
All right, there we go. That's better. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the car. Okay, right. We got to go over here. Yep, and we can change that. Beautiful. All right, who would like to have a bit of a fight? Give that you. I'll stun you. Go around the back. Does that it breaks stun? Okay. It's a good way to break up the fight sometimes, though. Like if you you're running low on energy or um, or health or whatever, and you need a bit of a breather. Bandage up. Heal yourself up a little bit. Come on. I've never seen a trainee with skills such as yours. And then they just like run up the top and have a bit of tea, I guess. Done, done. My skills are no match for you, I admit defeat. And then they just fade out like that. I need another ability. I need something that will use up a chi. I want to be fluid. You are an honorable opponent. I feel like I should slash bow for that. Come on. Crack him. Crack him. Now I've got this rage bar up here, but that shouldn't be there anymore, I think. Don't quite know why it's loaded up. It's one of my old add-ons for my warrior. Oops. Immediately jumped into another fight. Almost done, master. Just one sec. Alright, master. Let's go. Our greatest trials. The lesson of stifled pride. Intriguing, my young pupil. Most of the other trainees have been here for quite some time, but you were able to match them even within this first hour. This speaks well of you, but here, but there are yet other lessons I would see you learn. Level up. Every wisdom has a time and place, and times are changing for those of us living here on Shenzhen Tzu. For this lesson, I would ask two things of you. For the first, I hold a flame in my hand. Gather your wits, and when you think you are ready, attempt to snatch the flame. Should you succeed, I want you to then climb to the top of this temple and burn the Edict of Temperance that you find there. Okay. I'm ready to snatch it. My time is passing, but your time snatch. approaches swiftly. Snatch. Where you pass, greatness follows. Oh, did I get it? I already snatched it. Oh, right. <laughs> it was that quick. I didn't even notice. And we're going to get to the top now. Oh, I have it in my hand. There we go. Up the top. There we go. Burn, burn, burn. And then we'll go and turn it in. Can I just take a shortcut? I'm a panda, man. I'm lazy like that. Come on. My time is passing, but your time approaches swiftly. The fact, the fact that you were able to snatch the flame so easily is no small feat. The Edict of Temperance is a scroll of wisdom passed down from the elders. Elders? Wisdom from a more peaceful time. Every lesson has its time and place, and with darkness on the horizon, the time for this particular wisdom has passed. The burning of the scroll is an acceptance of tidings to come and promise to action. Your hand carried the flame, and I suspect that it will continue to do so in the future. Gamolio Dan, I see great strength and great courage in you, and an unsurpassed purity of soul. The hour is young, but I think you may be ready for, to face a greater challenge. Go to the bottom of the stairs and cross the bridge. There you will find Jalmin Ryo, 
one of the our eldest students challenge and defeat him in an honorable combat and this first phase of your training will be complete okay i've only got one skill though well i got two skills i guess but i feel like i should have more master teach me more so we're in the wandering isle Oh, right, and this is the one that's on the back of a, a turtle, I believe. I hope you're ready, Game Olio Dan. Jao Menro awaits you. And I hope I'm ready too. I've got one skill. But I'm going to use it like an absolute champion. Might even stun him once or twice. Or probably just once. A challenger approaches. Oh, man, he's just ready. He is not even mucking around. He's got 300... 72. Whoa. What the? What was that? Baby, it said baby elephant does something. Mate, let's just give you. Let's have a little break, mate. Just have a little breather here. Hawk diving to earth. Hey, he's still stunned. Baby elephant takes a bath. <laughs> so he jumps up. It's like he's he's bombing, bombing the pool. Hawk diving to earth, and then he gets stunned out of that. Gotcha, mate. Gotcha. Amazing. You're much stronger than you look. Thanks, mate. I think that's a compliment. The master's ready. Master. It is good to see you, my student. You truly impress Game Olio Dan. It seems certain that the path of the monk is indeed the path for you. As such a short in such a short time you show me that you have the potential to be a great monk. The training grounds are behind you, but now you must prove yourself by facing a far greater challenge, one that none of my students have accomplished. I want you to return Wow. The Spirit of Fire to the Temple of Five Dawns. My two other gifted students will help you in this task. The first is Aisa, Aisa Cloud Singer. Seek her out at the pool in the west. Alright. We're going west. Through the Dawning Valley. More monks practicing. Practicing their craft. Yeah, so I wonder if... It, I mean, everybody just starts off here with these abilities. Regardless if you're a warrior or, you know, whatever else you could be as a Pandaren. You're departing so soon? I'm so envious of your prowess, monk. Good luck to you. And believe scamps. It's opening up a little bit more. Palaces and so on look really nice. The, the towers over here. Quite beautiful. All right, we got to go over here. Merchant Lovo. Tell me of your travels. Jade Serpent, guide you. I come to ask the famous Asa Cloud Singer for help, but I just can't bring myself to intrude on her exercises. She's so poised, so practiced, so beautiful. You came for Asa? You you really shouldn't interrupt her until she finishes her exercises. She does speak to any she doesn't speak to anyone until her routine is done. In the meantime, could you maybe help me? I had some bad luck with forest sprites. Amberleaf scamps swarmed my cart and stole most of the training supplies I was bringing up to the training grounds. They've always been troublemakers, but they've never been this aggressive before. I don't know what happened. Please help me recover my supplies. My driver went running off after the sprites just here, just after they attacked. I don't think they'll really do, any, do him any harm, but I need him back to help me clean up the mess by my cart. He chased them off towards the cliffs to the north. If you head that direction, you should find him quickly. Alright. 
May the mists protect you. Got some amber leaf scamps over here. Give him the fist. Oh! Ah! Bit of the fist of fury. Palm strike to their face. There you go, mate. Enjoy it. Take it. Okay, we got two supplies. I wonder if I could just pick up, find the barrels and just pick them up. Maybe they just hide him. They hide him somewhere. They bury him. Oh, finally. Here we go. Blackout kick. Kick with a blast of energy. Energy dealing. Ah, oh, that's what we want. Yeah, Blizzard, come on. you got to give us at least two skills. It's a little bit boring just pressing the first one. Spamming it. Two skills, I reckon, to start off with. Um, Some more scamps over here. Let's see this. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more fluid. Beautiful. You can't lose that item now. Oh, because we're full. Okay, good. We'll go and find the driver. Huh. Driver. Oh, here he is. Hello. Doing the crane. Run away! <laughs> Master Shang has trained you well. Thank you, friend. I couldn't have fought them off alone. Now, if you excuse me, I didn't do anything, man. You didn't do it. You didn't do anything. Cut! Did he really just call out for his cart? He is calling out for his cart. What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome. I don't think that's the way it works, mate. There's your cart. Hello, cart. Still upside down, I see. Yes. Where are you, what are you gonna do now? I'm curious. Hello. Min Dimwin. Okay, well you're just gonna stand there. Alright, cool. Alright, merchant. Ah, oh, Isa Cloudsinger's finished her. Challenge in compassion and humility. By helping merchant Lorvo, it would seem you have passed. Master Shang would be pleased. Hmm. Welcome. You didn't worry about hurting the sprites. They're really... Oh, we've already done this. Thank you. You're an honorable monk. You've taught... We, they've taught you well. You are too kind, monk. There is no hurry. Hello. And... I can sell you some stuff. Although, I don't know. My sell button isn't coming up. That's right. Next one is on me. It may be because there's a new, uh, a new patch came out. I've got to update the mods again. It's a cloth... Why did I get a clothy? Cloth piece, that's strange. Alright, anyway. Ace uh, Cloud Singer, let's have a chat with you. Alright, Ace, uh, the way of the Tush... Tush... Tushwe... Tushwe? Tushwe? Hang on, let me get you... Let me get you framed up right here, Ace. It's a pleasure to meet you, monk. I am Ace. Of the tissue. Tissue? Tishui? I've spent much time in thought since Master Shang told me we would be searching for Huao. Huao. The spirit of fire. I know where he resides, but now not how to reach him. The answers are close, however. Come with me to the cave of meditation nearby. It is a place of great wisdom. I will meditate there, open my mind, and the path shall find us. Okay. We shall protect you. Meet me up in the cave if you would, friend. Okay. Can do. Hello, little froggy. Um. Yes. 
Oh, mate, she was quick. Cave meditation. Oh, what's this? Keep those creatures at bay while I meditate. No worries. Have the answers to seek. No problemo. I'll beat the crap out of them. We're ready. Look at us. Look at us, monks. Oh, she's talking to ghosts. Master Lee Fei. Yeah, get back here, you little chickens. I mean, and beliefs. Chicken and believe chickens. Yeah. Come on, can you meditate a little bit faster? Blackout kick. I like the name of it. Seems you put you straight to sleep. So I use this to build up my chi, and then I just kick him in the face. Boom! 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 <laughs> These things. Now she's almost done. Shabam! Boom! Crack! We need some Batman, um... 70s or 60s Batman, you know. Bam! Thwack! Crack! Speak to Master Shang Zi. He will tell you what comes next. Okay. Shang Zi. Shang Zi. Zi? Or Sui? Shang Zi? greatest trials. XI, I thought that was pronounced Chi though. Z, okay, anyway. Uh, your path is set before you. You will be the one to rekindle the spirit of fire and bring it to the safety of the temple. This will not only this will not be the only time you and Asa work together. She's strong and wise. You can trust in her. Another of my most talented students is awaiting you in Wusong village to the northwest. He is of a different mind than Aisa. But in their differences, they bring balance to each other. G Firepaw will instruct you on gathering the offerings for the Spirit of Fire. Trust in his wisdom. Done. Okay. So we still don't really... Oh, look at that belly. We still don't... Oh, we have pants now. That's okay. Good. <laughs> I was worried that we were bounding around without any pants. Anyone remember that show, Gummy Bears? Gummy bears, something something bouncing everywhere. You know that one. Kind of reminds me of that when they like jumping around like that. Boing, boing. All right. Anyway. Um, G of the Huo, 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 Huo Jin, Huo Jin, Huo Jin. Wu Song. Take that, monkey butt. <laughs> yeah, monkey butt, take that. Uh, hello, you look poised and confident. I like that. I heard some rather impressive whispers about you from the training grounds. If you're half as capable as they say, I think you and I are going to be good friends. We call those vicious monkeys swinging into town hosen. They keep to themselves normally, but they know something bad is coming, so they're here to steal our supplies. In situations like this, the clear answer is the only answer. These monkeys will leave when we force them to leave. To not defend our town and those we love would be the only true crime. This is the way of the Hyojin. Alright. Kick some monkey butt is what you're telling me. Can do. It's what we were born to do. Let me kick your monkey butt. Oh, well, first I gotta punch your monkey butt, then I then I can kick the monkey butt. Oh, actually, you know what? I gotta loot. Don't forget to loot. Get your copper. Here it comes. Oh, can I do a flying kick? I can do. Oh, there we go. Jump kick. Yeah. Yeah. Did I just see a flipper? I think I did. Th 
three more monkey butts to kick. Hey, look at this guy just hanging around. Here! Have that! All done, all done. Alright, GG. It's good to see you. I'm with you. You've got some fight in you. I think I like you. Oh, he gave us pants. Nice. Now that that's done with, let's get to it then. Ho, ho. The spirit of fire hungers for dry dogwood root kindling. It grows among the trees south of the village. It should be easy enough for you to gather some. Strange thing about wind, it can be hard to wrap your hands around it. Best practice for me has been finding some sort of living wind. Something is like stabbing me in the back right now. If it can punch you, you can punch it back and it won't slip through your grasp. Head over to the shrine of the summer breeze to the south and summon just such a living wind using this windstone. Best it, gather a fluttering breeze from it and come back over this way so that we can figure out what's next. And you give me some boots. And you, can you just stop that? Yeah, little monkey. Unbelievable. Alright. We did get some pants. Nice. So we'll head over this direction. And we got the dogwood root, and we've also got the uh, the other bit. Two quests. Here we go. Some gathering over there. Stone over there too. Very peaceful music out here. Kind of like, uh, well, it's it's. An Asian inspiration there, but, you know, like, the Night Elf area is very peaceful too. This is something you can meditate to, I guess. Very relaxing. Shazam! Here we go. Gotcha. We'll grab the roots. A lot of monkeys around here too. A lot of roots, a lot of monkeys. Yeah, I think something like that second ability, they should have given that to you after you did the training on the first, you know, those punching bags or whatever they were. The training stands. After you do that bit, I reckon they should just give you that kick straight away. Nobody wants to just press one button. You gotta have at least two buttons to press. Sure, I had this from the start, but you know, it's got a two minute cooldown and all it does is really stun. Stun gets broken as soon as you attack again, so. Isn't that right, Pam Dara? Hey? Hey, Pam Dara? You agree with me? Now, there was a patch just deployed. Uh, and I don't know if you remember in the, or if you were watching the Night Elf playthrough, right at the end, mate, planet in the sky, never noticed before, and uh, apparently they came in at some point during one of the last patches prior to the one that's come in, uh, because it's Argus. Yeah, that's right. And I believe all the high level characters are all traveling over there and doing all sorts of things. Beating up punks, beating up punks from the Legion. As I haven't played Legion, uh, or at least I haven't played Beyond Emerald Nightmare, I have no idea what the story is, but yeah. Alright, anyway. The time to act is always now. Correct. Uh, I hope you're not shy about getting your hands dirty. You've returned, roots in hand. You're a down-to-business kind of guy, aren't you? I like that. When opportunity opportunity rises, it is our responsibility. Oh, you've yes, yes, yes. You know what it is to seize opportunity. I think you and I, a kindred spirits, game all your down. Let's drink. We're gonna go and drink or something now. Some boots, some booties. 
Yep, 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 yep. Forget injuries. Never forget kindnesses. The Spirit's Guardian, you've done very well this far, my student. You have the materials you need to rekindle Huo. The I, I really need to see if I'm saying how to pronounce that. Is it Hyo? Huo? Wo? Wo? Ho? Uh, the Spirit of Fire. In the cave of the southwest, he waits, but he is guarded by Master Li Fei. The Pandaren Elder you met in the Cave of Meditation. Go to Master Li Fei with the offerings, prove yourself, then meet with Huo. Which is this away. And we are traveling over here, okay. Build up our chi. Kind of half expecting to um, say what he's doing, right? Spinning kick, spinning kick, spinning kick, punch, fist, 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 palm, palm strike, spinning kick. I mean, that would be annoying, but it probably was annoying right then when I just did it. <laughs> but that's what I was kind of thinking. All right, anyway. Anyway. Let us go to this cave. Talk to Master Li Fei at the Shrine of the Inner Light. And see what's up. <laughs>